Hi, it's Joan here. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a video, but I've been making all kinds of books and so I wanted to do a flip through on some of them. This one I call The Little Black Book. It was inspired by a demo I watched from Dina Wakely where she did black gesso on all the pages. And so I thought I'd give it a try myself. On the majority of these pages, I use stencils, and I either use the cutout section of the stencil because I made most of the stencils, or I use the stencil part itself. That's how I retained uh, the color on these, uh, like on the bird on this, on the crow. And then also, I would have to go back in because stencils can be a little bit messy on the edges. I needed to go back in on most of them and uh, apply some more gesso. On this one, I put paint and splatter. These were stencils that I cut. This is, again, the cutout section, which I put down. Then I stenciled over it, and then I did uh, some work with a gel pen. Same thing here, work with gel pen, and this part I used the actual stencil part and uh, uh, to do the coloring. This one I put down black circles and I taped them down to keep them in place, painted around them, stenciled around them. This one, the same thing, I put a, a tulip cutout down, taped it down, did paint work around that. These are die cut papers and some gel pen work. This one is uh, another stencil. Did some uh, writing and splattering and put some dots on this. These were some jelly prints that I did, cut out in circles and used Posca pen detailing around that. This was, uh, you saw the tulip uh, on the previous page, this was the uh, cutout that I used to blot out uh, the color on the other one, and then I thought, hey, I'm going to use it uh, on this uh, image here. Decided to do a little bit of drawing on this. Uh, this is a, two different stencils, two different uh, color applications, and then did a little cutout with this glittery uh, paper here. More cutouts that I used the cutout section to retain the black and did different uh, paint applications. This is more stencil work. more of the same uh, application. Now this one I used the stencil in two different ways. I wanted to do some negative and some positive on this. This is why you see some of the black part here and I painted around this and also painted around this and then uh, stenciled uh, the different uh, paints, two different paint applications on that and uh, did some splattering and a little clip art on this. This was a page gone wrong. I tried using certain colors and I just wasn't happy with it and uh, said to myself, well, I'm just going to splatter white paint on it to finish it. And so I call this my Jackson Pollock uh, spread. This is also using the um, stencil, uh, the cutout part, and the stencil. I notice I'm getting some paint on this. I'm going to have to go through and uh, gesso these down. It's picking up some paint from this. I decided on this I wanted to do a little bit of paint, a uh, drawing. So I put the paint colors down and then did little uh, floral drawings on this. Tried to do a lot of different techniques on this. 
uh, uh, this is a quiz on this one. Can you see what I did wrong? When I cut these out, this is from a phone book. It should have been behind this. And uh, this was uh, a, a paper that had uh, printing on it. It should have gone over here. I do make mistakes sometimes when I'm doing art. A friend gave me some really neat black and white uh, paper. And so I thought, well, I'm going to try some uh, uh, line work on this because I liked what had been done on this paper that she gave me. So I painted the flowers uh, white paint over the black gesso and then did line work on these. Use some Asian papers here, kind of look solar-like, and gel pen on this. These are Tim Holtz, his cutouts. Uh, I uh, just decided because of the background on this, it needed something childlike on it. And uh, instead of doing a cutting a stencil, I thought, well, I'm just going to paint black gesso over him. And then I've used the little dots, uh, the risers, to uh, apply them to the pages. And uh, I decided to use some uh, Dinah Wakely, uh, some of her images, since this book was inspired uh, by her. And she has the uh, scribble sticks, and I wanted to try using the scribble sticks. So that's what this is. Splattering with it, and then just some, uh, some line work. So that is a flip through on this. And uh, I hope you're inspired to maybe make one of your own.